family happy friday everybody listen child it's time for celebrity gossip don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell like and comment and remember honey happy friday hey royal family hey you guys thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you for coming back today i'm announcing the winner of my very first competition you guys have to stay tuned because i'll say it right at the end okay let's focus on the celeb gossip now okay firstly the week started off with some sketchiness <laughs> listen uh dj mapori sane well it wasn't even i think had he avoided the very first tweet, none of this would have rolled over until yesterday, honey. Yesterday. Listen. So, a, a tweet was posted. Someone tweeted and said, um, DJ Maporisa, I think you need to help Gabs that are small because he drinks too much, okay? He drinks a lot. He looks like a foot. Anyway, here's the tweet. Okay. And then he was in his feelings about it. I don't understand. Like, I honestly would have maybe avoided that whole tweet, acted like I didn't see it because it might not be the whole truth. No, sure. But there is some truth to it. So, and then it rolled over. Okay, he, he replied, I don't know what he said. And then someone else was saying, oh, look at this tweet. That person said, listen, chill. Me, I love you. <laughs> then everyone just started making fun about his English. And, you know, I, I felt bad. I, I did feel bad, you guys. He's trying. He's trying. And, you know, English shouldn't, you know, like... Hey, it shouldn't be a, a scale of how good you are. We don't measure you based on your English. Come on. Especially as brown people. Anyway, so people just started making fun of him and his English. And then someone said, okay, and then he said, all you people worried about broken English are always broke. <laughs> Allah, Allah. Then someone also, okay, then he tweeted, I empower my artists. Um, okay, this tweet right here. Then I was like, you've lost my respect. He's coming for people that didn't come for him. He has to attend to these people that are saying these things. Now he's trying to you know, listen, honey, if you, you want to be pouncing on a sleeping lion, honey, and it starts attacking you, child, then listen, you've got no one to blame. So he said, um, okay, this one about the masters. <laughs> and then DJ, I'm not DJ, Lady Zama said this. Listen, I was like, good. I know Lady Zama doesn't, you know, pay attention to negativity a lot. She's such a positive soul. But when she spoke for herself, I was like, good, good. You're coming for Lady Zama. He didn't, I mean, she didn't do anything. She didn't say anything. She's not even part of this conversation. And then Prince KB started ranting. I own this. I own this what else can you do you 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 were minding your own business living your life and then all of a sudden then umaka cairo cairo's mom also wants to be part of the conversation i don't know why i don't see why she should be yesterday she tweeted um this tweet and someone said oh so you're choosing sides now because i was also like what the hell how is this whole situation this whole um argument going to be a part of your messed up life she's going through her own things at the moment i don't hate her i don't hate you lady sorry i mean dj zinke i don't hate you but i feel like 
this is not something you should be having a conversation about. Especially just because last week I said something about you. So she says, um, she, she posted this tweet and she said, no, I'm, I'm not choosing sides. They're both my friends. Honey, you chose a side when you said, uh, um, Prince KB friend. Didn't you say Mapor is a friend and Prince KB friend. We should go into studio together. All three of us friends. She said friend to one person. I don't know. I don't know. You know, these celebrities don't know how to stop. Now, this is one that's close to my heart. I was hoping that that was the last time we heard of the Kumalo sister, Kelly Kumalo and Zandile Kumalo. Well, child, it's round two for them. Zandile, to me, should be arguing with her sister in private. You know that private veil that everyone should be focusing on private matters, private property, private, private. Zandile is already in a situation where she's drawing attention to herself. But this attention is negative because even though they were arguing, I still listen to um, a few of Kelly Kumalo's songs in the morning when I got ready. I listened to that other one about the wedding only yesterday so for zandile to continuously eh, but now kelly was wrong hey <laughs> i like kelly kumalo guys i've said this before i root for her but she doesn't stop disappointing because zandile was on rgb real Gaboza. and during her interview someone just started Give and shall give it. Kelly, you don't do that. Uh, you don't do that, especially to your sister. No, you don't. Uh, if you and your sister are arguing, you try as hard as you can not to say something or do something that will make it difficult for you guys to go back. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you obviously, we're arguing, we both in our feelings. We, we're saying things to upset the other, but we try not to hurt. It's very difficult to forget when someone has said something that stung your heart. You understand? Now for them, hey, and then Kelly Kumalo went for the husband as well. Hey, hey, hey. I was like, yo. Round two was dirty. Round two was dirty. Then Zandile went on Instagram. For who now, child? Mm -hmm. If you go on Instagram because you're fighting with your sister and you write a long post, who are you writing it to, Chell? Don't you want to perhaps send your sister a voice note, a message, an SMS, instead of putting it on Instagram for everyone to see it? And she later deleted the post. The post is not there anymore. <laughs> Hey, talk about seeking attention. Talk about seeking attention. I think that was a cry for attention, child. Anyway, on great news, our favorite South African couple at the moment, Somhale, is breaking boundaries. Their, uh, their wedding is out on Showmax. It's listen like everyone's watching it everyone it's it's rating really high in views i just think the only reason why they're being so successful as um a representation of a community is because one we know somis is real real as hell somis is real so real recognized real and they're being real together true to themselves that's why the world is receiving them so well it's about time the world received me now child. 
<laughs> no, I'm. I feel like, wow, guys, uh, they're opening so many doors. That wedding is opening so many doors. Doors for people that are trapped inside the closet, and listen, that door is being opened. You seeing a window of being real to yourself, living your life. How easy it is to live your life and accept yourself first. Wow. Anyway, listen, we've got a situation. I saw everyone's talking about long way, long way. This, I was thinking, who the hell is long way? Well, this is a picture of long way, child. <laughs> That's it. He, okay, he's the child of Chico. Okay, here's Chico. All right. So his dad's famous. He was famous as a child, yes. But Longwa has been problematic, allegedly problematic, because he's been accused many times of stealing, taking things that don't belong to him. <laughs> okay? So he's been accused of stealing chocolate. Now it's a case of chocolate. Chocolate at a petrol station in Soweto. He was there. I think he was minding his own business. But this, <laughs> his business, like that business, okay? The two-finger business. So allegedly, this, this petrol attendant followed him around the shop. He snatched the chocolate with his two fingers slightly. And he allegedly put it in his pocket. So the petrol attendant followed him all the way out the door and the police were called. Okay? So, yeah. 10 rand chocolate. He, he's out on bail. Let's, let's. <laughs> I'm not laughing at him. I'm just thinking in my head, there are so many people that suffer from kleptomania. Okay, I'm not saying he has it, but in my head, I'm thinking, hey, I know a lot of people that take things that they shouldn't be taking, that look at things, not that they don't have at home, but, you know, it's a disorder. I know of people that grew up with it. They're still growing with it. Apparently, it's only, you know, like, not curable, but, you know, like, managed when the child is still very young okay let me sip my wine for this because it's a long story so long was out on bail because of other two finger crimes <laughs> okay he once stole a shaving machine allegedly a shaving machine for one nine nine ninety nine cents so that's 200 rand okay and before that he was also accused of stealing a phone from a friend the father chico has washed his hands now baby i don't know what that means i don't know what that means why do parents always feel like if they wash their hands they've done the biggest thing a parent can actually do no, you don't wash your hands. You don't wash your hands. You fight. You love your child, right or wrong. You, you continue being a parent. You don't stop. Even when you're dead, us black people, we still believe in ancestors. If you're dead, you're still my parent. I still talk to you. I still ask you for things. I still ask for your guidance and your support. Now, for you to be alive on earth, to wash your hands hands hey uh, I get. I'm a daughter I have a daughter I just pray to God whatever happens in my life I never wash my hands going out in public and saying you've washed your hands I didn't even know he was out on bail I heard from relatives that he they've seen him in places no, 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 no. That doesn't make you a bigger person. That doesn't make you a person that um, we want to look at. I'm not saying Longwood's right, guys. Longwood's an adult. But in the black community, 
We don't do that 18 year old rule where you're 18 and you step out. You don't step out. You don't step, even if you step out, you still come step back in when you want to. Do you understand what I'm saying? It breaks my heart because I don't think he, he needed that chocolate. He doesn't need it. No one, no one needs to steal chocolate. Do you understand what I'm saying? He's got a disorder, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. He probably has a disorder and he probably needs his father's support all the time. And I'm sure, you know, that disorder is, is very visible, even in the young ages. Do you understand what I'm saying? He ignored it, he ignored it, he ignored it until it started getting out of hand. Then he then washed his hands. As a child, if your child comes home with two yellow pencil crayons, two, two wind-ups that are the same color, you can't take it back to the owner. You seek professional help. You try. As a parent, you don't stop trying. It really broke my heart the way he, it was so, so... Listen, I haven't heard of Chico in long, on long way. Never. But as soon as the child is, is... I'm saying the child because this is the parent and this is the child. The child is at fault. The parent wants to wash their hands in public. Yeah, nah, nah. Anyway, enough about that. Thank you guys so much for watching me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for supporting and thank you for for watching my videos and commenting. And you know, guys, do comment on the section down low. Let me know what you're feeling, what you're thinking, how you perceiving me. Anyway, I promise you guys, I would announce the winner. The winner of this competition is drum roll, Avela Veve Schweinba. She's the only one that commented on the original post. I shared it. Oh, listen, I'm not even going to explain. Congratulations! Yay! Your gift is going to be making its way to you definitely in the next week. Okay? Mwah! I love you guys. Mwah! Be good. Drink safe. I love you. Bye!